In this video, we're going to discuss how to take an order using the dine-in function in Supermenu POS. From the main screen, we're going to click on the dine-in button. That will take us to our table layout screen. This shows us basically a map of all of the tables within our restaurant. We'll notice that one of the tables, C3, is purple. Uh, what that's telling us is that this table is currently occupied. In other words, there are customers sitting there and one of our cashiers is already taking orders against this table. We're going to select a different table. We'll select B2. It'll ask for our uh, cashier user ID. Then it asks for the number of guests that will be sitting at that table. We're just going to say 2. And then we'll be brought into our regular order entry screen. Now in dine-in mode, typically you take orders in stages throughout the customer's meal. So what we'll do is we'll start out with a salad. We'll order an Italian salad, a small one, with Italian dressing. And we'll also order a chef salad with the house ranch dressing. At this point in time, this is all that you know that your customers want. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep this ticket open, but we want these items to print in the kitchen so that the chefs can make it. So we're going to hit the button over here that says Confirm and Send. What that does is it now sends just those two items to the kitchen. At this time, we'll see that the table, B2, is now purple, meaning that this table is also occupied. Once your guests have finished their salad and they want to order their entree, they'll come in, re-click on the table B2, and then order whatever it is that they ordered. Let's go to subs, order a regular hot cold cut, a medium, and a second sub for the second guest. Okay, we'll see now that we've got the salads are still on the ticket, but the quantity is now yellow. What that's telling us is that the items in yellow have been already printed in the kitchen. The items that are still in white are the items that we're ordering right now that haven't yet printed. Um, at this point, we're going to hit Confirm and Send again, and this will now send just the two entrees to the kitchen. Since the salads have already been made and, and delivered to the table, those will not be printed in the kitchen a second time. Now, once your guests are done and they're ready to pay, you're going to come into the table again and then down at the bottom you're going to hit print check and what that's going to do is it's just going to print a receipt for your customers so that they know what the total bill is. We'll also notice that the table B2 has turned to an olive green color and what that's telling us is that the receipt has been printed already so that we know we don't need to print it again. Your customers now have the receipt and they're offering the, the cashier a form of payment. The cashier is going to come back here, go back into the table. Oops. And come down to the pay button to pay this ticket off. They'll then come to the, um, the, the checkout screen where they'll select the form of payment, cash, check, or credit card. We'll select cash. It's asking us how much money they're actually giving us over here in the cash tender. Over here are some quick entry buttons that we can click on to um, enter the amount, uh, $5, $10, $20, etc. Or we can certainly enter the amount that they gave us on the number pad here. We're going to say that the customer gave us $40 in cash. Then we'll hit the done button over here. It'll now pop up this screen which tells us that we owe the customer nine dollars and twenty four cents change. At this point in time the cash, uh, the cash drawer should have opened so that you can make the change and the customer's final receipt would have also printed. We're going to hit the OK button and we'll notice that the table B2 is now white meaning that it is open and available for the next customer. To view more videos on Supermenu POS, visit our website at bankcardpos.com.